Hello viewers, today I'm going to present uh, reset password using Gmail SMTP. So here is the project uh, login screen. So I will explain the code base as well. So before I start uh, the reset password option, we have to create user account, then login, and then I will log out and uh, request the reset password and go to the Gmail and there will be a dynamic link using that link we can able to hopefully reset password. So let's start. I'm just logging into the my uh, application as admin user. So before uh, logging into the application, let me give you the simple overview. This is the web application API project. So we have three different projects. First one is API. Second one is uh, like model uh, class library. So and third one is uh, completely front end project. Uh, just calling API, just uh, viewing the data in the browser. So. I'm back to my project. Uh, here is the user management complete project using SP.NET Web API. We have used .NET latest stable version 7.0. So I'm logging as an admin user. <coughs> uh, so you just uh, copy and uh, I have deployed this application in the live server. So I will share the demo URL so that you can check live environment. So just log in and this is the dashboard uh, as a default. So for our first task is create a new uh, user account. I will create with my actual uh, Gmail account so that I can uh, get the reset password notification there. So add new account, uh, Shahid Islam. Select, here is the drop down. Uh, I have uh, selecting just random some option. Password, I'm putting just one to three for test purpose and uh, user role so admin user role can access everything of this application but general user can on, only access his profile i'm just selecting general user so that you can uh, visualize the change after a logout as admin and login as a general user save so uh, user created successfully and shahed i'm just copying this uh, gmail uh, okay uh, let me uh, just log out and log in as a new newly created uh, Shahid my you my email address and password one two three uh, login so as I explain I can able to see my profile only other menu cannot be able because I'm the general user in my profile also have email details summary also I'm able to edit my profile reset password reset password from uh, after login but before login uh, if you forget your password then there is a forget password option so today's uh, videos main uh, agenda or main discussion point is uh, reset password forget password using gmail smtp uh, so user profile created successfully and uh, now our uh, next option is configure the gmail smtp so recently uh, gmail smtp update his uh, activities so you have to create a user password and using that password you can able to configure the gmail smtp uh, i will share the details for how to configure the gmail smtp but for this application we have dynamically created a gmail uh, option so that you can add multiple gmail id uh, based on the new based on your needs you can uh, set a default gmail id so you have to go to the system setting and email config. So I already added few uh, test Gmail ID as a test purpose. So we have like is default. So system will select the default one and use the details of that Gmail SMTP. If I go to the add email config, so you have to add your email address, password, that is the Gmail app password, host name, and port uh, SSL enable send email full name is default. So if I go to the actual I'm using right now, so password I already said password. Hostname SMTP gmail.com port is uh, Gmail port is uh, 5h7 SSL enable and is default. So Gmail enable uh, Gmail configuration done. So if I sign out, then somehow if I forget my password, then there is an option forget password to reset password so i have to put my pa actual email address if i uh, somehow put the wrong email address then what happened let me check so user not found system is returning yes this is the expected masses if i uh, input the actual uh, email address then uh, and 
press the reset password button Maybe uh, Shahid reset password. User email is not confirms. Oh, sorry. I have to confirm the e email uh, user email confirmation over the email. I let me check my actual email address. Yes, and uh, here is the email confirmation. So once I create the user account. So we have received the user email confirmation. I'm just copying the link, uh, copy link address and go back to my yeah, application, uh, just insert. Thank you for confirmation of your email. Uh, click here for login. And now if I trying as a forget password option, hopefully this time uh, there will be no issue. Uh, forget password and i'm putting the actual my email address reset password so it is uh, sending the email uh, sending and reset password option to my gmail account so let me uh, check my gmail uh, address gmail inbox basically Yes, uh, I got another email admin uh, user management system. So please reset password by clicking here. Here is the link. So I'm copying the link, copy link address and go back to the my application browser. So if I click this link, then there will be new window like uh, email address, new password. I'm putting one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. If I click the reset bar password action button, then uh, it will be successfully uh, done the job. So your password has been reset. Please click here to log in. So reset password has been successful. So if we try using the new password, uh, one, two, three, four, five for test purpose and login. So reset password is successful. So we have done the uh, our today discussion cycle <coughs> like reset password, uh, forget password option uh, using Gmail SMTP basically reset password. So we have created uh, first we have create new user account then uh, and login as a new user account then request. Also we have uh, make sure the uh, email confirmation of our Gmail SMTP. So if I log in again as admin user for the application uh, details, so in this application, basically user management and all uh, all operation we have done using web API call. And uh, for front end, uh, if we go to the user management details, here is the create uh, designation. We have used jQuery data table and uh, yeah, register for uh, like view this space displaying this space this is the model and we have used bootstrap common model we have created a library for model like uh, display stuff and for add new stuff so this is the model common model and this application is a dynamic rule based application so you have you can create a role based on your uh, needs so as default we have two different role admin role and general role <coughs> So if I go back to our project, so I run this project uh, from uh, PowerShell uh, from the terminal. So you, you have to go to the project and right click, then you have to option open in terminal. So I already opened first project, like API project is running and second project is uh, like uh, this user management project is running. So how reset password work? So let me give you just a simple overview. In the API project, we have made sure all uh, database connection and everything here and the user management project, we have just uh, called the API. We have used uh, REST uh, API client module <coughs> REST sharp for email uh, API communication. 
so let me give you just uh, reset uh, forget password of uh, api communication and front end how we can handle it so just uh, go to my controller account controller so if i uh, go to my account controller there is an option for um, forget password so here is the forget password it will it will just open the of uh, window so you have to type your <coughs> email address and to forget password details here is the reset password and reset password confirmation confirm email and for a reset uh, forget password we have to go to the view in the account and there is a um, reset password here is the reset password so this is the <coughs> reset password window ui so you we we take input from user like email address new password and confirm password and <coughs> from this uh, ui we just call directly api so we have a base url and from data we are taking the from data here and here is the base url we are calling the ajax uh, like uh, authentication api and reset password it is calling the basically uh, this api project and once it is success then it is go to the location dot uh, application dot reset password confirmation so we just call directly web api not going to the controller and so this is the reset password and for uh, forget password reset password i already explained confirmation just it is confirmed for login and forget password forget password we just uh, receiving just one input email address and sending uh, email for the uh, that inverse also we are uh, calling the api from the from this page using the as x call and here is uh, we just uh, mm, receiving the from data and the base url passing the base url and data and if it is success and we are calling authentication api slash forget password let me just give you a simple overview controller authentication api and uh, if i go to the forget password here is the forget password so we are receiving a uh, model like data and using the email address we are searching the email if it is null then user not far user not fine we are returning the masses and uh, if it is email not, con <coughs> not confirm it also we are sending the masses so this is the validation and if it is uh, everything okay uh, validation uh, okay then we are sending the masses we are performing the uh, reset password operation and sending the email so here is we have a email service where here is the sending the email for forget password so this is the basic uh, overview of this application and we make sure the database connection here and we have a, this is code first project and if we go to the code data here is the migration script and here is the model and here is the context so application db context so if you go to the code can then you will get to able get entire code base from there so here is the application settings for db connection uh, but we try to uh, clean the uh, front-end project so if we go to the front-end project we just uh, we have just a simple base url nothing else in the application dot settings file so uh, i already explained the confirm uh, forget password option so how we are confirming so also we have a like a full code operation for gmail smtp uh, so I'm not explaining this. This is not uh, this is not context for this video. So our video context is uh, forget reset password. If you forget the password using Gmail SMTP, you will notify and able to uh, confirm the reset password. <coughs> so if I give you the application overview using this application, you will get a complete dashboard for user details like uh, summary and reset re recent register user and user management full crude operation uh, using this skin you can able to create edit reset and manage access page access 
So, um, and uh, manage user role. So you can manage the role and system role, and also you can able to check login history. Uh, so this is the summary of login history and one of the important uh, feature of this application audit log so you can track all of your data operation from this screen so thank you for watching this video this is the overall summary and uh, you will share uh, details for live url checking also the code canyon so that you can get this application uh, with complete source code this is the complete source code and if you purchase then you will get complete source code with documentation i will give you the tech support how to run this project and further guideline so thank you everyone see you in the next video